Yeah, good day, happy Wednesday, and welcome to Sessions Vlog. I'm Jacket and this is my husband. Dial Setro. For the first time ever, the good news is here in Africa. Can you just imagine COVID-19 has brought out the giant in Africa? Although we're not uh, happy that COVID-19 has taken so many of our loved ones to those that have lost uh, one or two persons. We but say, whenever there is challenges upon the head, the heart of men and the brain of men begin to bring out ideas that are sellable. And we are so happy to discover that Africa is discovering its innate talent. Yes, so as the governor of uh, Cross River in Nigeria, Governor Ben Ayata, has sent a garment uh, factory into a factory for producing face masks in mass, as in, and they are distributing it to Nigerians for free. As a governor who is in the middle of Cameroon infected, my neighboring states infected, only Cross River has zero confirmed case as of today, it is my responsibility to adopt advice all known methods and amalgam of all the techniques that are available to me to ensure that I guarantee security and lives of my people. Crossbar State is so prepared and committed to ensure that at the fullness of time, when this plague comes and goes, Crossbar would have had a zero incident. Just to show you how prepared we are as a state in readiness to fight this virus. And I'm happy that the government factory is properly charged, fully prepared, respecting industrial distances, and they are mass producing in order to supply to the public. Yes. That is laudable, Governor Ayade of Cross River State. Thank you so very much. And we've also seen same thing across uh, Kenya. A uh, Kenya uh, factory also turned their production line towards so mass production of what? Face mask. Now, seven manufacturers in Kenya have the ability to produce non-woven polypropylene needed to manufacture three-ply face masks to be used by both medical personnel and the general public in combating the spread of the COVID-19. Now, according to a statement from the Kenya Association of Manufacturers, four of the seven manufacturers are located in Nairobi. Two are based in Kisumu and one is in Eldred. The Ministry of Industrialization, Trade and Enterprise says it has approved production of critical items to be used in the fight against the spread of COVID-19, including the generation of 60 million masks. This will prevent us from... We don't know what they are made of, yeah. or whether they are safe or not. And they have a More they... Africans should wake up and start producing whatever they need for this COVID-19 in out. Ghana is not left out. The president of Ghana is also encouraging mass production. It's going to uh, facilitate and enhance the factories that are producing uh, this mass production and it's going to be great. It's great. It's not even going to be Whenever great. the name Ghana is mentioned, my respect is always swearing high because it's like those people, they are drinking the water of life. Their brain, their thinking is bringing now the emancipation of the lost African values to those to Ghana. And can you imagine that the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure under the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology in Nigeria has on the seven days produced this first prototype ventilator. <laughs> Efforts towards curbing the spread of the coronavirus in the country appear to be in top gear as the federal government commissions safety tunnels, ventilators and vehicle disinfectants in the nation's capital. These safety tunnels and ventilators manufactured by the National Agency for Science, Engineering and Infrastructure, NASANI, are specially produced to combat the spread of COVID-19. The Minister of State of Science and Technology inspects the equipment, which are the first to be manufactured in Nigeria. With inspection over, the Minister commends Nasani for taking the lead in manufacturing equipment. This is the same ventilator that is costing America large challenge to provide for themselves. It's going to be scrutinized and what? It's going to undergo some... Uh, uh, processes before it's tested and proven to be produced mass uh, for mass consumption and does it local sources local resources and you're not going out do you know the economic implication of this how much it will save us if we are to be importing ventilators for just a minimum of fifty thousand expected patients that is it kenya is also left out in this they're also producing their own 
they are making wave in the production of uh, ventilator. When the government issued an urgent call to industry players to venture into manufacture of ventilators, a sizable number of companies offered to help. But now it appears that Kenya's first locally made life support machine might be delivered by students of Kenyatta University and Oxycolia with more. The simulation of how a ventilator pumps air into the lungs of a patient. But this is not a hospital environment. It's an innovation room at Kenyatta University's Chandaria Business Innovation and Incubation Center. <laughs> Fidel Mugatia and 15 other students of Kenyatta University are prototyping a locally made ventilator to aid the fight against the fast spreading coronavirus. This machine we have made is able to regulate the percentage of oxygen air that goes to the, um, the patient. So we're able to set between 20%, which is the 21 that is the normal air we breathe, up to 100%, depending on the condition of uh, failure. There are individuals in Ghana, there's an individual in Ghana that's produced a ventilator, there's an individual in, in Nigeria also, this is loud. Man. There is something about Kenya, they have this Kenya, should I call it Kenya spirit. <laughs> Kenya is always outstanding. If you talk of tourism, you talk of Kenya. If you talk of so many stuff, you talk of Kenya. And how I pray that this COVID-19 will just be out of the way so that we can go visit so China. that's a prayer that these innovations and uh, uh, industrial revolutions across africa it's not going to stop just because of after a uh, post covid 19. we pray we come out with synergize that's what we're crying out to use if you know anybody that's developed something great that's gotten an innovation in africa please that's why we're here on this channel we're going to promote them for free for free we are also collecting a dime all we just want to do is to support the growth of Africa because if Africa do not don't say we the, here, nobody will look for us. If we don't us. tell the stories of Africa, no one will tell it well for us. So that's it on today's uh, vlog. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. If yes, why not give us a thumbs up? Why not subscribe? Subscribe, like, and share. Share so, our videos so that more people get to see the beautiful work that is being done in Africa. In our, because Africa is not only about bad news. We're going to watch our next video. Just watch out for this our next video on the companies that are doing exploits. Great innovation.